Guys and girls, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Gary Blackwood. This is my Irish pal Connor, who doesn't want to be in it, but he's going to have to be for moral support. We're on our way to Ireland. We're playing in the Irish Poker Tour. We're very excited. Are you excited? Very, yeah. Uh, Fantastic. We're going to fire everything. There's 600 Euro tournaments, 1500 high rollers, Twitch free rolls. Absolutely everything. Cannot wait. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, let's go to Ireland. <laughs> So here we are in sunny Shannon. The weather's actually really quite nice. Uh, big shout out to Paddy Power. They've, you know, they put me up in the hotel. They've given me the ticket for the $600 main event. They've got a car to take us from the airport to the, the hotel and stuff like that. It's really, really nice so far. The lads are you know, a great bunch of guys. I'm not sure what I'm going to play tonight. Is it going to be cash games? Is it going to be mystery bounty tournaments? Is it going to be me and the boys drinking at the bar? We will find out together. But yeah, let's head to the hotel now and, uh, and see what's up. All right, we have made it to the poker room. It is absolutely beautiful down here. We're not going to play any cash this evening. Instead, we're going to late reg the 400 euro mystery bounty and try and make day two where the bounties will begin. Look at this absolutely beautiful room. Everyone is here to play cards here in Galway. 400 euro mystery bounty, our first event. Let's get straight into it. All right, it's been a fair few hours of traveling, but I am buzzing to be here. I'm straight into the seat regging this mystery bounty. It's a 400 euro buy-in, and I have to improvise at the very beginning here. I knew I'd forgotten something. Little did I know it was my phone holder. 200 runners in total. There are 99 left at this point. I'm regging right at the end of late registration. 30,000 chips into a 16K big blind. Gonna need to make something happen fast. My third hand, I'm in the big blind. I look down at an ace, hoping it'll be a fast start. But it's an offsuit deuce and I just have to fold. I also have to fold a hand as beautiful as Jack Nine of Diamonds a couple of hands later. This is pretty much it for me before they send us on a 10 minute break. Didn't even know we were going to be on break so soon and it's off into the Galway night to find a phone holder. All right, Truth, it's me again. Life is funny sometimes. One minute you're playing 5, 10, 20 in Los Angeles with the boys. And then the next minute you're on break in a 400 euro mystery bounty in Galway. So now I'm running around the beautiful city centre of Galway looking for a phone holder. Uh, yeah, let's hope we can get one and then get back in with a proper setup and uh, win the mystery bounty. Hey, let's do that. All right, back into the grind we go. Properly kitted out and able to record. The big blind is 2K. The table is very soft. And I'm in the big blind here with Jack 3 off suit. It falls all the way around to the small blind. He's an Irish fella. He limps in. Very, very loose goose indeed. I've got 21K behind. I decide to check my option. Heads up, we go to the flop. Always good to flop top pair. And when my opponent checks to me, I decide to bet out for 3K. He makes a pretty quick call. Like I say, he has a very loose goose here. Spoiler alert, so are 99% of the players attending the IPT. To the turn it's a 10 and he checks again i'd consider checking versus most players but versus this player i think we have a clear bet and i decide to just move all in like i say he's a very loose goose he's going to call with a lot of worse hands i doubt he realizes that it's a 1.7x pot shove and he's got piles and piles of chips so i don't think he cares about 18k i get snap called and he shows me queen nine for the absolute nuts zero percent for me no outs no hope no chips the first tournament of the trip for me is over didn't even win a single hand the late registration is also so close so i go for a quick bite in the restaurant and think about what i'm gonna do for the rest of the evening all right no luck in that first event that was the 400 euro mystery bounty and that was about an hour ago i busted about an hour ago the plan now is to play the 600 euro galway poker cup it's the main event essentially it's 600 euros there's multiple day ones i'm gonna play tonight if i don't play if i don't back tonight then i'll start to play again tomorrow but yeah jumping straight in feeling great i'm still happy to be here it's at 7 30 p.m just now so hopefully we can bag and have the day tomorrow to play some different tournaments maybe play some cash maybe check out the city of galway that would be a lot of fun but let's get straight into the main event 600 euro galway poker cup i am going to win it all right, we are in the main event. There are six starting flights and I am regging here in level five with a 50K stack at 600 big blinds. Off to a good start here. I'm in the cutoff with ace five offsuit and raised to 1500. The big blind defends. We go heads up to king eight six rainbow. He checks to me and I decide to see bet for 1300 chips. He makes the call and when the seven turn hits, we both check. Beautiful four on the river and he leads out for 2500. I put on my best I'm bluffing you face and raise it on up to 11K and he takes a few seconds seconds before folding this is the first pot i've won on the trip in my second tournament it's nice to get that out of the way and then a few hands later i'm in the big blind with ace 10 off suit the cutoff is raised to 1200 chips the small blind calls and i decide the small blind is going to be dead money here it's a nice squeeze spot i make it 6k to go the cutoff folds and the action is now on the button who i didn't even see was in the hand i would have made this bigger pre-flop i might not have even shoved pre-flop if i was out of position versus two players the button does go ahead and fold and then the small blind calls classic dead money we go heads up to jack seven four rainbow he 
checks to me, and I see bet for 4K. He thinks for a few seconds, and he makes the call. The turn is the two of clubs, and when he checks to me, I decide to just check it back. And eight rolls off on the river. He checks once more. I decide he's probably not folding. This bet check bet line doesn't have much of a success rate when you're bluffing. So I just check it back, and he shows me king jack of clubs. I don't think he would have folded versus a bigger squeeze preflop. So I guess I've saved myself by misreading the action. Big blind now up to 800 here in level 7. I'm in the low jack with 8-7 of spades and raised to 1,800 chips. The small blind is a regular looking fella. He puts in the re-raise to 6k. Now I've got about 40k in my stack and I do cover him but not by very much at all. Still I'm in position. It's a good price. It's a pretty hand. I make the call. The flop comes down ace, jack, nine, all red. I've got a very bad gutter here so I'm not planning on calling a C bet but he only bets out for 3k. Very small bet. I think I have to call here with this gut shot. So I go ahead and make that call to the turn. It's the five of diamonds two flush draws on board now he checks to me and i think we have a very very clear stab on this board he's gonna have a lot of hands like queens and kings so i think bet the turn and shove the river is the best play here i bet 7500 chips and he very quickly calls don't love the speed of that call there needing some help on the river it is the eight of clubs not what i needed at all he checks to me and i decide to just check it back i think in hindsight this is really really bad really passive poker for me i should just shove it in and if he calls then he calls it's better than just checking it down with seventh pair here when he'll be folding a lot on the river he shows pocket queens and scoops it up really should just grow up and shove the river there this puts me down to 24k less than half of starting stack grinding it out for an hour without much happening next up the big blind is now 1200 middle position is raised to 2500 i rip it in with ace queen offsuit and it gets through back up to 28k now but after another couple of orbits i'm back down to 23k and when the cutoff limps for 1600 i look down on the button at ace seven offsuit there's 22k in my stack here around 14 big blinds he's limp folded a few times so i decided to just shove it in pick up the blinds and aunties if i can do so the big blind wakes up with a hand and reshoves. and when the limper folds i'm up against pocket tens looking for an ace to double up back to starting stack some encouraging words from the limper always an ace you think so don't jinx me now, come on Come on, guys. A little sweat there by flopping a pair, but no additional help, and I have been eliminated from my first bullet in the 600 euro Galway Poker Cup. All right, no luck. Stop shoving 15 bigs with a seven off suit. I am back in the mix, though, just at the end of late reg. We're going to table 25, seat six. I'm going to stop recording now. I'll see you at the table. All right, second bullet of the tournament for me, straight back in there, still in level nine. I come straight into the 1600 big blind, and one hand later, I'm in the small blind with Queen Jack of Diamonds. An older, tighter looking fella has raised a middle position. The button calls. I decide to just call from the small blind. I don't want to shove it in here versus this older fella and not have it as much fold equity as I would like. The big blind comes along as well. We get the ace, king, five with two hearts flop. I'm not able to chase my gutter here, and I have to fold versus a bet on the turn. But maybe we can finally get some MTT momentum going here in level 10. 2K big blind. Line. I'm under the gun with 36k in my stack and I've got pocket queens. I min raise to 4k and I get three callers. Good start here, but we go four ways to ace, four deuce with two diamonds. Disaster flop four ways and to make matters worse, when it checks round, the turn is a king. And all in on a call on the turn, I have to just fold my hand down to 22k without doing much wrong here. And then this next hand, still in level 10, it falls right to me in the small blind with this blurry looking 10 nine of clubs. I decide to just move all in for 11 big blinds here. Big sigh from the big blind when I do so, but he does make a pretty quick call. He's got king eight off suit, looking to improve. Big flop for me, lots of outs, no help on the turn and none on the river. I have been eliminated from my second bullet of this tournament, my third of the night so far in two MTTs. That'll be me for the night. No more poker to be played. I go up to my room, get an early night, ready to try again tomorrow. All right, troops, we are done for the day. I busted three bullets, one in the 400 euro mystery bounty and two in the 600 euro main event. I'm quite okay with the way I played today. I felt I just couldn't get anything going. That eight seven suited decision not to shove the river is an abomination. And I'm so disappointed with myself for that. But other than that, I couldn't really get anything going. And um, not a lot of poker in this episode so far. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna swish into tomorrow and we'll go for uh, day one B of the 600 euro main event. Two bullets if we need it, swish.
All right, straight in we go, regging in level five, 50K starting stack, 600 big blind, my third bullet in this one tournament. There's over 100 players in this flight today. And as I jump in here, I'm of course looking forward to playing. Change of game plan today, instead of getting in there and being all loosey-goosey eating a sandwich, I'm gonna play tighter, avoid marginal spots, try and play quote unquote well, as opposed to quote unquote exploitative. I three bet queen jack of hearts from the big blind versus the cutoff early on to drag in my first pot and settle the nerves a little bit. And my first real pot of the day comes 30 minutes later, level six now with an 800 big blinds. And I'm in that big blind with ace king. The hijack is raised to 2K, the small blind calls, and I squeeze it on up to 8200 the hijack makes the call the small blind gets out the way we'll go heads up to the flop always good to flop top pair here and it's a relatively wet board i decide to see back for 5k after a quick call we see the offsuit deuce hit the turn and i keep barreling this time for 8500 chips setting up for the river jam if i get called i do get called praying for a clean river is as good as can be a black nine rolls off i decide to sometimes check here to let him bluff his missed hearts but the rng in my head lands on shove so I move all in, no snap call, no snap fold. Instead, a pained look immediately comes across my opponent's face and he tanks for a long, long time. I've clearly got the best hand here. I'm praying for a call. Let's get this trip going properly here. After a few minutes though, the clock is called and just as the timer started, he makes his decision. He folds. I really wanted a call there, get this trip started properly, but can't complain as I'm now up to 74K. I think this is the first time I've been above starting stack in any of the bullets I've fired in any of the tournaments. Not a bad start to the day here. I'd actually been chatting away to the fellow on my left. His name's Hugh. He's a Yeovil fan from Derry. And as I'm dragging in this pot, he's in the big blind next. Diller asks him to put out his big blind for the next hand, and he says that he already did. Now I've just scooped in this huge pot. I ask him if he's 100% sure that he put it out. He says 100% without a doubt. He's a very nice guy, so I trust him that he did put it out and I just assumed that I've accidentally scooped up while I was taking this pot in. I throw him a 1k chip. A minute or two after this though, he says, can I check the camera to be sure? So I pause the recording, we go back, I make a brilliant VAR joke that has the table in hysterics for the rest of the day. And most importantly, I didn't take his chip at all. We have a wee laugh about it, he gives it back to me. But it's really funny to hear someone say that they were 100% right about something and they were wrong. God knows I've been there many times in my life myself. Back to the cards now, and like I say, I'm playing a solid, tight, aggressive style today, proven in this hand where I pick up pocket jacks on the button. Hijack raises to 1,600. A very tight older fella that makes it 3,600 to go off of about 40k in the cutoff. And I just fold my hand. New year, new me. I'm happy to lay it down though and forget about it versus this extremely tight player. Next up is a pretty cool hand, still in the 800 big blind level. Middle position is raised to 1800. I'm in the hijack with king tennis spades and decide to just flat call. This is gonna bring in both the blinds. We go four ways to ace, queen, three, all red. I've got a gut shot to the nut. So when it checks to me, I decide to take a stab here. I bet 2600 chips. Happy to see the blinds get out of the way, but the original razor does make the call. Heads up to the turn, it is a 10. This is a clear blast off for me now. I block turn two pairs, I block the straights, I continue to barrel about 9.5k chips and my opponent calls. I'm just shoving every river in the deck, but maybe not the jack of spades. Absolute ping for me to give me the straight. And with 32K in there, I decide to try and get very milky. I bet 8K, that's a quarter pot, basically guaranteeing myself a call very often. And sure enough, he makes a very, very quick call. I show my hand, he grimaces and mucks, says that it's a very bad river for him. Yep, I kind of assumed that. I wonder what would happen if a brick rolled off. Big start to the day for me here. I've got 99.8K after just an hour or so and hoping to keep pushing onwards when I pick up ace queen of diamonds in the hijack. The big blind is now worth 1k and EP is raised to 2200 chips. Now he's got about 50k in his stack so I think we can flat this hand for sure which is what I decide to do. The button then moves all the way in for 31k. Early position folds. I'm happy to call it off for 31 big blinds. He's got pocket nines. This is a big flip for about 65k worth of chips and as I zoom into the board I see that I flopped the flush and the voice in my head says oh great he's dead. I then zoom out and realize that he's flopped a set so I I hardly zoom back in to see me turned dead. Incredible bad beat for me. And it's made even worse because I thought he was dead on the flop. This is gonna take me back down to 69K or so. Just after this hand though, I've got an amazing interaction with the dealer that's pushing into the table. One table on XRs. It just sums up what the IPT is all about. I am, yes. Hello, can I be in your blog? It's not gonna be in it, man, I'm sorry. The camera can see like... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll get that on again. <laughs> this is a great example of how the tour has been so far. Everyone's having a ton of fun. Nobody's taking themselves too seriously. The staff are extremely fun and friendly. I'm having a great time in Ireland, and this definitely won't be the last time I'm here. I can guarantee that. Back to the poker we go, and I pick up Ace King with the big blind at 1200. I raise to 2500 in early position. The hijack calls, and then the small blind squeezes to 10k with about 30k behind. I don't have any other option here. I've gotten covered. So after a few seconds, I ribbity rip for all the chips. He goes deep into the tank. Very pained expression. I'm not sure if we're flipping or if he's got ace queen. I've got no idea, but he does eventually fold his hand. I show my ace king. He says it was a flip, but I reckon he's got away from a hand that we had dominated there. I guess we'll never know. It's a nice pickup for me here, but after this, I'm going to go on a bit of a dry spell. A few three bets that get shoved on. Some pots not going my way, and I make the dinner break with about 46.5k. It's completely fine, though. That's plenty of chips to work with as we come back to a 1600 big blind. There are 147 runners for this flight total registration now closed so i can only be in for one bullet and 90 players remain for the next 42 minutes after dinner i look down at so many deuces in my hand over and over again here is a montage of them every few seconds for about 40 minutes non-stop winning chips in poker tournaments is really hard when you've got a deuce in your hand almost every hand culminating in me eventually having to tell the table about this the weird look was i've never seen so many twos in my life as i have in the last 40 minutes it's on it's like every hand that I a pillar two. All these deuces not helping me to grow my stack. Getting kind of short. I do get a couple of jams through though. The chip leader opens in early position and I rip for 17 bigs with these pocket sixes. He says it was a light open and then folds a couple of hands later. I min raise my jacks to 5k in the cutoff. The small blind puts in a small three bet to 12k and I don't love it versus a small re-raise but I do just four bet shove. I get the fold and suddenly I'm back up to 65k or so. Grinding it out. Having a lot of fun here before picking up ace king yet again. This time it's suited. I raise under the gun to 6k here in level 12 it folds all the way around to the small blind who announces he's all in i don't even get a count i can see that i've got him covered i'm never folding anyway i of course make the call delighted to see that we're dominating him he's got ace queen which is in very rough shape as about as good as a flop can be and no miracle non-spade queen for him to push my stack all the way up to 105k still a little below the 138k average for the day here but plenty of chips to play with now always nice after grinding the short stack for a little while into a four K big blind for this next hand. Three levels left today. There's a solid English pro in the game who I've played with in Vegas before. He raises to 8K in the hijack. I'm on the bottom with Jack 10 of clubs and make the call. We go heads up to Jack 8-8 eight, eight with two hearts. Nice start for me here. He C bets for 8K and I just call the turn as the six of diamonds. He checks to me and I decide to bet my better Jack X and check back my weaker Jack X. This one, of course, being one of the weaker Jack X that I can have here. So I check it back and we see the four of diamonds hit the river. Really nice, safe run out. If I was good before, I'm almost certainly good now. He checks to me again. I think we've got a clear value bet. I bet 16.5K, which is around 40% of the size of the pot. He thinks for a few seconds and just when I think he's going to shove all in, he just calls. I show my jack 10 and he mucks his hand. I am now up to 154k, peaking for the day here, just under the 163k average with about an hour left today. Let's kick on now and bag a really nice stack. Our table is actually going to break not long after this hand. It's been a really fun table with a bunch of great lads. It's sad to be leaving, but my new table looks very soft indeed. Happy to be closing out the day here. We go on one last break to color up the orange 500 chips and we're into the final level of the night. 6k big Big blind just need to hold on not do anything silly and make day two i'm in the big blind here for this next one with pocket sixes the button is a younger regular looking fella he moves all in for 61k that's just over 10 big blinds the small blind gets out of the way and i'm happily calling it off here for 10 bigs in great shape versus king six offsuit let's see if we can hold <laughs> Tell it up Oh, five. He did say pre-flop that he'd take a chop, but after the turn, it was me who would have taken it if offered. No luck for me, though, and it's a little disappointing with just 10 minutes to go in the day to lose a hand like this. I would have been up to almost 200k if we held there, but alas, it's not to be. We draw for last number of hands. It lands on three, and in the penultimate hand of the night, very soon after losing with those sixes, I'm in the hijack with queen six suited, and I decide I'm just going to shove a little light here, see if I can increase my stack for day two by a couple of big blinds. If I get 
called and win, then that's even better. And if I get called and lose, day 1D is running right now. I can go and jump straight into that. It does get through. I pick up the chips and antis. Maybe a tiny bit of tilt setting in after that pocket six is hand, but no harm done. I end up bagging up for the day 76.5k for day two. Three bullets in total. One very generously provided to me by Paddy Power. Big shout out to them for doing so. Heading back on Sunday with around 13 bigs. Not quite in the money yet, but we'll be kind of close. Just happy to be bagging up at last. It's been a long, long grind today, and some of the guys want to head out into the town and let their hair down a little bit. I, of course, tag along. A lot of fun here in Galway at the weekend. All right, guys, welcome back to Galway for day three of the Irish Poker Tour. A little worse for wear today after a lot of fun last night. Right, on to today's festivities. We're playing the Twitch free roll. 5K added to the prize pool by Paddy Power. A 200 euro bounty on my head, plus a couple of the other guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. People showing cards and straddling and stuff like that. Going to have a lot of fun with that. And then I am going to play the 1K, uh, which is a one day event. So one and done in a day. Really looking forward to that. I plan to win them both. Uh, yeah, let's get into some hands. Let's play some poker. Let's drink a lot of water. Hope that the hangover fucks off very soon. Uh, really looking forward to today. It's going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, let's go play some cards. All right, so we are in the free roll. There is a 200 euro bounty on my head. The big blind as well. And the big blind as well. And two. What, how much do I owe? Two and two? One one. Oh, one one. Class. Let's do it. Good luck, boys. Good luck, everybody. All right, into the free roll we go. I'm quite tired, quite hungover, but I vow to do as well as I can. At the end of the day, there's still a thousand bucks up top. They move me over to a different table early so they can spread the bounties out. 40 runners or so, five or six of us have got bounties on our heads. The blinds are 100, 100 to start. And for this first hand, I'm in the small blind with eight, seven off suit. It falls all the way around to me and I check. The big blind also checks. I love a 100, 100 level where you can check in the small blind. The flop comes down seven, five, four rainbow. Decent start here and I bet out for 200 chips my opponent thinks for a few seconds and he makes the call to the turn it is a king i think there's value to be had here so i continue to bet i bet 300 chips and again he calls the river is not ideal it's a board pairing four i decide to check to my opponent and he bets out for 800 chips i don't think i'm folding here i think for a few seconds and say show me jack five and make the call he shows me queen four instead it was either river trips or a missed straight draw one or the other it's a little setback but i'm still very motivated to win the free roll and my chances of doing so feel like they're going to improve when i look down at ace king on the button a few minutes later the cutoff raises to 300 chips i announce raise and put in one yellow 1k chip the cutoff then puts in the four bet to 2300 this pot is escalating now can we just rip it in here for 120 bigs in a tournament with ace king is that a thing i'll give you guys one guess what i decide to do with my 12k stack i of course move all in and my opponent snap calls he's got pocket aces this is so unfair i'm going to use my irish poker tour one time right here to see if i can suck out and stay in this free roll so ready i'm ready <laughs> oh ah are my covers I out the free roll already? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I was very comfortably covered. This is devastating. I had vowed to do as well as I could today, and I've lasted just 15 minutes. All right, I'm out of the free roll. The free roll's gone on behind me. I'm really annoyed. I was taking it super seriously. I wasn't wailing about it and uh, not taking it seriously. I intended to play well and go as far as I could. Uh, I'm really grateful for Paddy Pyro for putting me into these things and, you know, bouncing on my head and letting everyone know who I am and stuff like that. And I intended to repay them by playing as well as I could. And then I got Ace King and V Aces for like 120 bigs after 12 minutes. So what can you do? I'm going to jump in and play some cash now. We've got this 1k coming up in a few hours. But let's jump in and play some cash. Uh, stick to what we know. Uh, yeah, let's head in there and, uh, and play some 2-5. All right, into this cash game we go. It's a 2-5 game with a nice mix of shorter stacks and bigger stacks as well. I've got 1,500 euros in cash with me for the trip, so I just say feck it and stick my roll on the table. The game looks very good. I've kept my eyes on the cash game tables over the weekend so far, and they've looked really good from a distance, so I'm super excited to jump in and play. So I sit down, buy the button, fold my first couple of hands, and the guy to my immediate left gets stacked in my second hand at the table with pocket kings losing to ace king. It's a huge pot, and he buys back in for 105 euros exactly 
exactly and tells the table that he's all in in the very next hand. I'm in the cutoff for this next one with the ace-10 offsuit. Early position is raised to 20 euros. Not sure if he heard the man on my left. I decide to just flat call and sure enough, the button does move all in for 105 euros. It falls around to early position who makes the call and I decide to call as well. Let's see a flop here. We go three ways to 10-7-7 rainbow. Pretty good start for me here. Happy to see early position check now. And I decide to bet out, see if I can get a call from a hand like pocket eights, maybe an ace high, maybe a king high with a backdoor flush draw. Kind of disappointed to see EP just fold his hand, but that disappointment changes to delight as I see that he's folding pocket queens. He says that he puts me on a seven and folds his hand. I'm of course all in with the other guy, so I have to turn over my hand. It's a bit of an awkward silence, and I hold versus the small blinds pocket fives to put me up 200 euros after just a couple of hands. I'm so, so shocked to see that fold from early position. That could have been very messy if he had checked jammed there. 10 minutes later, I pick up jack 10 of clubs in early position and raise to $20. The hijack puts in the three bet to $70. The small blind who just folded the pocket queens cold calls, and I decide to call as well. Three ways to jack nine eight with two hearts. We check to the original razor and he checks it back. The turn is an offsuit five, and when it checks to me, I bet out for 140 euros, and they both just fold. The guy to my left confirms that he had an ace king after I show my cards. I am two for two here as I drag in this second pot, starting to wonder why I play tournaments at all. Next up, I'm in the big blind with ace eight offsuit. The straddle is on here. Middle position is limped. I call out the big blind, and the straddle checks. We go three ways to the flop, which is 10, eight, three rainbow. The straddle is very drunk, and he leads out for 25 euros. Middle position makes the call, and I, of course, call as well. The turn is a beautiful ace full rainbow board and the straddle bets again for 50 euros middle position calls again and i put out a small milky raise to 150 euros small sizing because they've both got about 400 euros or so at this point unfortunately they both fold but i am crushing this game so far hitting every flop and running very well dragging in my third pot of the day here next up i'm in the big blind with queen nine of diamonds big hand for me in this vlog i never seem to miss with it middle position limps in for five euros the small blind is a Belgian kid he calls as well and I put in the squeeze to 25 euros just to fold out the small blind really sure enough middle position calls the small blind folds I get exactly what I wanted and we go heads up to queen 10 9 all spades there are a lot of bad turns here so I decide to pot control and just check to my opponent happy to see him check it on back the turn is the deuce of diamonds complete brick and I think we have a clear bet I do decide to check it here which again I think is a mistake in hindsight but it's really marginal there are a lot of bad rivers I don't think it's a mega punt if it is a mistake at all middle position checks again and we see another non-spade deuce hit the river it's time to try and get some value i bet 40 euros and my opponent goes deep into the tank talking away to himself saying he puts me on ace king he very nearly calls but he does just fold his hand he says he doesn't want to see it because he thinks i'm bluffing but i flash him the queen as i muck my hand and drag in my fourth pot out of four i have not lost a single pot at this cash game so far i've been playing for about an hour now and the game is really good but my hangover is really starting to kick in and i want to rest up for the 1k later today so i rack up my chips wish the lads well and head to the cashier a very nice 452 euro win for an hour's work not bad if you can get it all right we're done we played an hour of cash it was a lot of fun it was really kind of wild at the start and then it kind of tamed off a little bit but i still had a lot of fun it's been a great day probably so far i played a twitch free roll i played some 2-5 cash and now i'm going to go up to the room chill for a little bit and come back and play the 1k later uh just a bit of everything and it's class the room's now filled up it's really popping off in here today uh, penultimate day. Um, yeah, let's just chill out for a little bit before playing the 1k later. Alright, jumping in the 1k now here with my pal Connor. What are you playing today, Connor? I'm in the 300 at the moment, but uh, I could be joining you very soon. Are you having a good trip yeah. so far? Yeah, I bagged, um, bagged the main event with one bullet. There's a rumor going around that you stuck in 1k pre flop with 7.5 Osu in a cash game. Is that true? No. No? Not true? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> right, jumping in the 1k. Good luck, us. Top man. Top all right, man. into this 1k euro high roller we go. I've been looking forward to this one all day today. I'm the eighth person to register for the tournament. Does that mean I've made the final table? Registering with a 40k stack, 100 big blinds in the first level. First hand of note, I raise it on up to 300 from early position with a couple of J boys. I get one caller before the cutoff then squeezes to 1500. I decide to just call here 400 big blinds effective, as does the other caller. We go three ways to 9-9 nine, nine deuce rainbow. The original razor C bets for 2k. And I'm the only 
likely player to make the call. To the turn, it is a seven. I checked my opponent and he bets again, this time for 3k. I don't love it, but nothing else I can do here other than call. The river's an eight. I check once more and my opponent checks back, turns over his hand. He's got pocket queens. It's a bit of a setup, but nothing else I can really do here. It all feels quite standard. The big line is up to 200 now. And next up, I'm on the button with six, five of hearts. Middle position is raised to 500. And I decide to flat call on the button. The big line comes along for the ride. We go three ways to four, four, three with one heart. Pretty good start here. And middle position decides to see bet for 1200. I make the call. The big blind gets out of the way. To the turn, it's the king of diamonds, full rainbow board now. And middle position see bets again, this time for 2500 chips. Now, I verbalize almost everything while I'm playing poker. And the reason for this is that I'm very prone to misclicks, especially when I'm playing with new chip sets. I intended to just call the 2500 here, but the one time I don't verbalize, I actually misclick raised to 7k chips. I immediately realized what I've done, but I was able to stop myself going, oh no, no, wait, that was a misclick. This is a genuine misclick. I had actually considered raising here, but I decided to just call. It's funny, I've misclicked and gone and raised anyway. My opponent tanks for a very long time before folding. It's quite funny I decided not to raise because I had very little fold equity, and then misclick raised, and it got through. The guy says that he folded a king. I told him that I had a four, just because I felt like a bit of an idiot for misclicking, but glad it got through, and I didn't have to shove the river. There are more runners in the game now, which means splitting up some of the table. I can move to my new seat. I play a few small hands of note, nothing really to report back. We're in level four here with a 400 big blind, 17 runners total, and I'm in middle position with ace queen offsuit. I raise to 900 chips. This is gonna get called by the cutoff, the button, and the small blind. We go four ways to the flop. I flop three queens, or as we call it in Scotland, six titties. A big hand for me here, and I decide to see bet for a small size. The cutoff makes the call, as does the button, and the turn is another queen. I've now got eight titties. This is a huge hand for me here. Really not sure what to do, but I figure there are some boats that both players can have, so I bet again for 3k, praying that neither player folds, and then the cutoff raises to 13k. What's more, the button goes deep into the tank. I really want to look back at my cards and make sure that I don't have ace, king, or ace, jack, and I really have four of a kind here, but I dare not move. I don't want to give away any tells. The button eventually sighs and folds his hand, and I randomly decide to count to 49 in my head before I make the call. This is a fast 49, by the way, not 49 pink elephants or 49 Mississippi. Once I hit 49, I make the call, and the river is a nine, and I slow count to 13 before checking, praying for my opponent to jam, and sure enough, the cutoff off moves all in. I am full to the brim with boyish glee as I snap call and show my ace queen. He's got king eight of hearts for the absolute spice flop float. Turn raise river jam. I gotta tell you, I absolutely rate it. Unfortunately for me though, this is gonna be the last hand that I play at this table. I get move tables again just after this hand and I'm now playing with Irish poker legend Andy Black. Unbelievably nice fella. He bluffs me beautifully a couple of times and shows them both times. We've also got an upcoming Irish legend by the name of Dylan in the game. He played very well indeed and who up all the chips while I was playing with him, though he did tell everyone a PLO bad beat story that nobody asked for. Just kidding Dylan, I know you're watching, it was a lot of fun to play with you. As for me, I'm hovering around the 80k mark for a long time without anything of note really happening, and when the big blind hits 1200, I pick up ace-3 offsuit on the button and raise it on up. The big blind is going to defend, heads up we go to 10-5-4 with two spades, I've got a weak ace high and a gut shot, so I see bet for 3500 chips which is half pot. The big blind takes for a few seconds and then makes the call. The turn is a nine of spades. I don't have a spade in my hand, but I decide to bet again anyway for a half pot, see what happens. I bet 7k setting up for the river jam on a fourth spade if it hits. After a minute or so, the big blind calls again. I'm hoping for a deuce or an ace or a spade on the river. Nope, it is a board pairing five. And when it goes check, check, I've got to show my hand first because I was the last aggressor. And somehow my ace high is good. He tells me that he had eight, seven with a spade. Really mad at himself for the way that he played it. I tell him, don't worry about it. We all misplay hands sometimes. Lord knows I've misplayed many in my time. This is going to send me up to 90.4k chips. 29 runners so far today. 22 left. Closing in on the end of late registration here. Looking like I can do it on one bullet. Next up, I'm in the hijack with ace 10 off suit. Handy black is raised to 2,500. And I decide to three bet to 7,500 next to act. Another local legend by the name of Jamie Flynn then moves all in from the small blind for 19k total. This is really annoying and when it falls around to me, I really don't like the thought of calling or folding, but in the end I decide it's only another 11k. It's too good a price. 
I decide to just sigh and call it off. He's got ace queen offsuit, really bad flop for me here, and no extra help behind it. This is a bit of a hit to my stack. Maybe we should just fold versus the cold four bet jam. Maybe we have to call it off. It feels really close either way. Down to 70k after this hand, but starting to really struggle to pick up a hand as well. Not winning any pots of note. Still though, registration is closed only in on one bullet. There are four players paid here today with 12k for first. That's a really nice payday for someone. And with 21 players left, I hope it's going to be me. After the break, I get moved to a new table, this one looking much softer than the one I've just left with Jamie Flynn and Dylan and Andy Black and all the tough pros in it. I managed to get a shove through from the small bang with ace five of diamonds versus a button limp to get my stack up to 45k. And next up, I'm in the big blind with ace jack of diamonds, 2,500 big blind here. The hijack raises to 5,500. The button is an older fella. He makes the call and I've got an easy shove for 17 bigs here. I move all in for 42.5k. After a quick fall from the hijack, the older fella starts complaining about all the all in saying it's not real poker i tell him that i definitely agree but i'm the short stack here so there's nothing else i can do he then asks me if i want any action do i want to call or not hey, huh I'll, I'll be very honest with you it's kind of on the line i'm all right with taking it i'm all right with getting it in it's up to you it's right on the line it's not a monster but it's not a complete monster. i agree but i'm short stack there's nothing else i can do i do agree I'll show you if you fold. How about that? Yes, I want to call. <laughs> no, I don't want to call. <laughs> See you again. Good luck, guys. <laughs> This is a bit of an annoying way to exit the high roller in 15th place. The only saving grace for me is that I was only in for one bullet and I did win a bit of money playing cash earlier today. So it's not the end of the world. I head back upstairs to the hotel room to chill out for the night and have a bit of a debrief with the camera. All right, troops, no bueno in the 1K. What can you do? I got it in with Ace Jack versus King Jack. I didn't win. I feel like I played well today. Uh, nothing you can do. Right, no messing about. We're going to switch to tomorrow, day two of the Galloway Poker Cup. Um, I've got about 13 big blinds in the bag for tomorrow. We're nearly in the money, not quite uh, yet. Let's switch to there. All right, one switch later and suddenly it's day two. The room is absolutely buzzing as we all make our way into our seats and start unbagging our chips. We're actually quite far away from the money as well. 1,400 euro min cash, 198 players left, only 84 paid. I was hoping we'd be much closer and I could slither in, but we've got some work to do before we get into the money and then take it from there. 20 minutes left here in level 15, 3K, 6K with a 6K big blind ante. I'm also the third shortest stack at my table, but both the shorties bust quite early meaning that we're seven handed for the first hand of note today i'm under the gun with queen 10 of diamonds and raise it on up to 12k it falls all the way around to the big blind he makes the call he's an older fella and we see a flop of queen 10 8 all spades not the prettiest two pair in the world but definitely enough for a c bet and after some humming and hawing the big blind just lays his hand down this is going to put me up to 97k but just for a brief moment because the big blind and the ante are going to eat me up in the very next hand heading into level 16 now 82k in my stack slow Slowly realizing that this table looks soft, but is actually really quite tough. Everyone's playing pretty well so far. Next up, I'm in the low jack here with ace jack off suit with 10 big blinds. I move all in, kind of want some action from either blind, but everyone just folds back up to 102k, but back down to 82 after the blinds and antes. One orbit later, I'm in the hijack with ace nine off suit. I shove it in for 82k. Don't want any action this time and happy enough to see everyone snap fold. Back up to 102k and next up I look down at ace three suited. Good enough in my opinion for 13 bigs. I move all in. Don't want any action here but the button decides he's going to give me some. After he makes the call the big blind actually tanks for a very long time and to be honest I want him to call as well. We're not close to the money. Let's gamble it up and find a triple up here but he does eventually fold. Button has got pocket eights. I'm looking for an eight Ace or some clubs or a straight here to find a nice double up early on day two and put myself into the mix. <laughs> Devastatingly, no ace, no flush, no straight, no chips, no hope. I'm very sad to have been eliminated from the Galway Cup. The trophy was absolutely huge and I had my eyes on it. Alas, we fall short 50 from the money. I think the damage was done at the end of the first day with those pocket sixes versus king six and I couldn't find the important double early on day two. This is also my last hand of the trip as two hours later I jump on a bus to the airport to head back to London. It's been an incredible few days here in Galway. Guys and girls, I will for sure be
be back here. Maybe see some of you next time. All right, guys, we are done. I busted the main event uh, a couple of hours ago. I got ace three in for 12 bigs versus pocket eights and lost and decided to GG the trip uh, a day early. I was gonna play the main event, the high roller, sorry, but decided to just skip it. I had an amazing time in Ireland. It was absolutely class. Massive shout out to Paddy Power Poker and the Irish Poker Tour for setting this all up at the last minute. Big shout out to Brian and Connor and the rest of the boys. Absolutely class, absolute legends. Uh, and I really hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. I have had a great time. I'm gonna go home and edit this all now. It's gonna be great fun. Uh, if you guys could sub to the channel, I'd be very grateful. Until next time, YouTube, take it easy.